Now this is exciting. We're, we're coming over to the Janetta stand. Janetta is a Leeds-based company owned by uh, Lawrence Tomlinson, uh, ex-Le uh, Mans winner. And they're better known for their race cars. There's, there's one behind uh, the black car here, which is their new supercar just been launched. It's called the Akula. The Akula apparently meaning shark in Russian and it certainly has shark-like features. Now, it is not the prettiest of cars, but what I would say is there's a certain cohesiveness to this, and you can certainly see that this is really a race car for the road. There seems to be a theme here with, I suppose, the adaptive suspension systems that have become available on supercars, making it possible to, to run a fairly soft setting for the road and then harden it up for the track. I like the look of this car. Now we're running a naturally aspirated V8, which is nice to hear, with about 600 HP. So that's going to make it fast, especially as the weight is 1150 kilos. Now looking at the back of the car, you can see how purposeful that is. We've got a deep race type um, diffuser at the bottom and look at the size of the rear wing. Senna like I would say. Now coming round the side here, just get a quick peek inside. Interestingly, fixed seats, fixed to the tub. The pedals uh, and the steering wheel move back uh, to suit different sizes of people. So it be interesting to sit inside it. The one thing I will say is it looks very finished inside, you know, very high um, quality components. So look at the side grills and the aero in the, the side skirts. I mean, that's just incredible. Coming around to the front of the car, you can see how purposeful it looks. It's got running lights and underneath the running lights we have a really deep race inspired front diffuser. 600 HP, about 516 pounds foot of torque and I would say it's going to cost in the region of £340,000. Actually, it's not bad given what you're getting here because we have a carbon body and a carbon tub. So it's all as light as they could possibly make it. And they've given huge thought to the aero. I mean, look at the aero on the front of that car. Do you know the price yet? Yes, we launched it yesterday, so it's £340, including UK registration That's right, tax. Oh, right, OK. 600 brake horse? Just over, yeah. A fraction over. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah, now laden weight's 11.50, so she's yeah. really light. Um, just, just down to the construction, so it's car it? carbon tub, carbon subframes, front and rear. Right. Um, engine is extremely light, which we developed from a billet solid aluminium block with a carbon torque tube to our own... Uh, a gearbox in the back so it's a transaxle gearbox right and as we brought the engine the gear everything so far back we've got a great weight distribution of, of 5149 so it's it's um now it's a bit of kit i do all the test drive with the genetta oh right okay interesting i bet you had fun with this absolutely yeah yeah no we've done quite a lot of miles but there's still a fair old way to go in the program yes i'm sure that's true the first cars will be delivered uh, just after spring next year right but now it's gone really well we First time we've done Geneva as a brand. Um, first time we've done our own road car really since the heritage side of Geneva. Yes. Yeah, no, it's sort of captured a... So the company's owned by Lawrence Tomlinson. Cap behind it. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Um, Le Mans winner, I remember. That's right, yeah, 2006. Yeah. 2006, um, amazing, absolutely incredible. And, um, and Led, you know, he's, he's not a CEO, we don't see his active MD kicking our arse. <laughs> he's a great right. fellow. So. Yeah. <laughs> and firmly led this project. He's always wanted. He came in from the racing days at Le Mans, as you saw, and wanted to yeah. sort of pioneer grassroots into racing up to a, a level like this, where road cars something he's always wanted. So it's his first. The thing is that this one looks extremely professional. Now you know I've been to quite a number of shows, and you see a lot of uh, cars in development which just aren't ready. And you know the, the the panel fit is no good. They haven't decided on some of the exterior styling it looks great we, we know it's stuck but it's you know it's it's not a, a fake car what sort of things have you still got to do um, there's some interior environment still to do right. um in terms of we've got more more circuit mileage we want to right. to run through um engines with we want to try a bit more power just sort of push things in the boundary even more and then there's a lot more road miles we need to cover as well what's it like on the road 
very compliant. Right, OK. It wasn't a worry, but as a driver, it's, it's um, yeah, I'm a racing driver, so that side of road car testing was unfamiliar for me. So right. understanding that, what that market wants, but... Um, mm. it, no, I mean, with the TC and ABS, it's very forgiving. Uh, the way the geometry is set and the, the rear diffuser, the car squats and the power, so we have really good grip, which was, right. which was important to us. Um, but, but very balanced. Um, and it's, it's all down to the engine positioning. It's literally on the floor in between the passenger and the driver. Mm. No one's, a lot of people say mid but this is. So it's a, quite a unique concept, really. And aerodynamics are aggressive, but they have to be. I mean, we, we see a lot of manufacturers going down the avenue of you know, sleek streamlines with mm. hydraulic actuated aerodynamics, you know, movable devices, where still in racing, that's not how aerodynamics are created. Let's have a look inside, shall we? It's yeah, a carbon can. tub. Yes. We don't have seats, so it's crash tested. Right. The yes. pads to fit you. Right. Then electronically the pedals will come. It's very important the driver's head is here. Right. And then that gives you the access of all the mirrors and everything. Okay, let's get in. Blimey. You do fall into this car without a doubt. But the steering wheel is very race orientated with the dashboard sitting above the top of the steering wheel. But the graphics are nice, and you have quite a shallow front windscreen, I suppose. But you can see, because actually the side screens are quite big, so the visibility is good. Thing is, for this type of car, you know, uh, a sense of excitement when you get in it is incredibly important. And you want to feel you're driving something different. Yeah, because I mean, a lot of cars are a little bit me too, even at the sort of the, the junior supercar level. So this is <laughs> totally achieved with Janetta here. I mean, it's just a great driving environment. Driving a racer, this is very important. So the crash tested part comes up past the hip as well. So right. side impact is, it's, you know, you're sat in the actual machine. It's, um, it's yeah, not really important. Yeah, everything's attached to this tub, this is the lifeline of the car. Right. And the stiffness oh. of it is what gives it yeah. And it has a roll cage? Yeah, there's a cage bolted on top. Yeah, right, okay. So it it really is a track focused car you can drive on the road. Yeah. yeah. Very quiet, comfy, com it's not it's a, it's a comfy place to be. It's spacious, I mean you're never gonna rub arms with your passing. No no no, it's uh, it's a good width, isn't it? Wow, what what's the turning circle like? I mean, is uh, is it not bad? No, no, very good. Yeah. Better than I'm used to. I've got a 675 LT McLaren, and the turning circle on that is not great. Most of the back of the arch for error anyway, so there's yeah. a lot of room. Oh wow, I do actually like this. I think this is really nice. Well, guys, it's all carbon fibre inside, and Alcantara on the roof lining. There's a roll cage apparently, it's integral and hidden behind the pillars. So it's going to be structurally rigid to say the least. And it's modern inside. I mean I like, it's got a proper central screen. I love this that sits, I mean, unlike Peugeot who, who do it in their road cars, I think in a racing car with a racing steering wheel. That is absolutely perfect. I was just saying really that the, the driving position is perfect, that the seat is attached to the tub. So the pedals and the steering wheel have to move to accommodate the different driver types. Appears to have a stereo, I'm not sure in a car like this how much you'd hear that or the quality of it. I like the name Cooler, I think that's really really exciting. Really well finished inside, I, I mean for a car that's not quite finished. The design period and the design stages, it is beautifully put together. Genuinely, this is an exciting development in my opinion. You don't get really exciting developments very often. Uh, and these things have a habit of coming and going at shows. But to me, this is just, a, this is just beautiful. You can really see the seats. You can see clearly the seats are part of the tub. And where you're sitting on the pads, the whole tub is exposed carbon fibre. Honestly, seriously beautiful in here.
totally focused, focused in the right way and um, I'm really excited by this and I hope it makes it to production because I think it's got a lot going for it. Alright guys, well that really is magic.